Hello agents, welcome back to our let's play of Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands and playing hardball. Here we are in the province of La Cruz and we got... Uh, where is it? There. We did not get the info, uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, special medal for the detection yet. But we got the information where it is, right? And it is over here. So, and yeah, uh, I had to end the episode last time because something came up. Maybe even a computer crash, I don't even remember, but it doesn't matter. So do we have a helicopter here? It is a bit far away over there. So let's ask the rebels, but please rebels, don't put it too far away. Oh my goodness. Did you, did you guys crash land it on the, on the mountain? Well then, let's, let's take this uh, hippie truck. Everybody in. There you go, there's a bad boy coming up now. Oh yeah, sorry about that. I know, it's here. Ah, oh, down there. Okay, guys. Alright, now that's fine. <laughs> I'm happy with that. There was actually, there was uh, an acceptable landing place. So let's take the chopper. There we go, and then we are flying over there. It's a very beautiful day in Bolivia. Very Let's beautiful go. day. So come on guys, hop on. Yes, everybody on board. Yes, very good. All right, there we go. There we go. Really, very beautiful, very beautiful. So, and by the way, looking at the left corner up there, so we have 70 FPS now only, although the weather is pretty good. And... Um, well, I mean, the side is pretty far as well, but we don't see anybody except for the cars over there. So, yeah, I think, uh, like, there have been some questions, and I know that these videos, now that when they are released, um, it is a while. Oh, there is a flare over here on the left now, but we are not getting distracted by anything. We are taking the special medal. It is also rather not fly over any bases. I don't want to be picked up by Sam. But over there... Yeah, and it's a bit wondrous. So now we have 90. 90 FPS. And so one of our friends here on the community, he said he only had 45 FPS and uh, his computer setup is possibly uh, maybe around 20% weaker or something that my setup which would mean that uh, which can't really explain this, uh, this this huge difference right so I'm not entirely certain but if anybody has an idea let's discuss it please do share your thoughts on that one that could be helpful but yeah as you know if you have if you are following the series here I had a lot of trouble with this game, so and I think that it's possibly not even Wildlands, but uh, Ubisoft Connect, so Ubisoft Connect issue possibly. So it's our Outpost Santa Blanca that monitors the road traffic. All right, Let's make a flyover. So they chopped off some trees. Those monsters. Add another tango. Tree choppers. Is there a sniper there? Yes, we can see him. Sniper. Okay, there Top we are. Lots of people, generators around. They do have a little bunker here on the corner. Well, they are in the process of really fortifying this thing. Good fences as well. Someone, yeah, there is someone there. Oh, yeah, good fences all around. But, well, I, I think we even we could crash that one down with a car. But that's actually pretty nasty. We would need to come up the slope here, the slope road. Hmm. And the rebels need supplies badly, and that chopper's got them. Let's snag that bird and get it turned in the right direction. 
I think we need to come from up here, actually. And then we take out those guys, we secure the chopper. We destroy the alarm. We are clearing their whole little outpost. Take the medal and then we fly away with the chopper. It's only com tools now, but yeah, whatever, right? Uh, if <coughs> the enemy doesn't have the com tools, that is also a, a quite success. So here and oh, and there are two pieces of evidence. That's actually that's actually pretty nice. That is pretty nice indeed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. So guys, we are actually taking the chopper. Fall back to the Fall back, guys. I need you there. Come on and get away from Target's the road over there. By for go order. Oh hello, who are you? Oh, he's a farmer. Hola hombre. Hola, todo bien, todo bien. No no no, todo bien. Estamos amigos. We're good. We're good. Estamos amigos. Guys, I just told you that you were supposed to come here. Why were you still staying at the road? Come on. Unbelievable, the lack of discipline. But well, I mean, we are not the most experienced team here, of course. So let's fly here. Sneaking up the side. And behind the trees, there you go, our sneaky helicopter. So guys, follow up. What is it with you? Why are you not coming? Regroup? Rally on me. Roger, moving. Or do we have some social issues? Do you, do you guys feel that you should have been allowed to drink more tequila? and other beverages last night. My voice is even still sore from all the from all the tequila, right? Or maybe it was just the cold. And this is like today is the last day of my cold, I think. So So, uh, okay. So I think we actually we have actually uh, most likely identified all the bad guys over here. Yeah, I don't think there's anybody in there in their dining area. One sniper there. He needs to go very, very soon, of course. And so can we actually get a shot? Yeah, there. Good position there, Weaver. Um, it's okay. I provide the tactical guidance. So one of you guys, moving to position, take down the sniper, Eyes and then the actually we we are in a good position. Yeah, okay. So three, two, one, shoot. There, very nice shot. And then we are going to clear out the whole helipad all at once. Let me get into a position, but I want to shoot the alarm first, just in case. So, coming around. At the moment, it's actually a good position there. Ah, oh, yeah, there. One shot. The alarms are disabled. Reinforcements good. Will be in there. And then I want. Those guys around the helicopter. Yeah, there are guys on the road. So, Got you it. guys I need a Wait one. Let me get take position. the last three. Got the target. Target marked. Ready to engage. Okay, I didn't have the guy over here in my crosshair just a second. I will actually, instead of this one, Moving you guys take that one. Can I take these two here? Are you ready? Say the word. Okay, three, two, one, shoot. Watch it. Andre heard your tango fall. Good. Okay, we're still good.
No, no one saw anybody surrendering, right? So I didn't see anybody surrendering. Sorry about that, but yeah. I think uh, he just threw up his arms or something. But this one is clear now. That's good. Oh, yeah. And we do have all the, uh, the evidence right on here, right in the place. That's actually not so bad. So what do we have here? It's a document. The local leaves a token of his devotion to the Virgin Mary to thank her for sparing his family during the great fires which scorched La Cruz last year. The great fires of La Cruz are the worst wildfires Bolivia has seen in several decades, consuming more than a hundred thousand acres of land, killing dozens and leaving hundreds homeless. Hmm. Okay, not sure if that is a real thing, but uh, like in reality... So guys, let's just check what's the situation now. Oh yeah, there are these two coming up. Okay, I want you Got it. Move. Let me get a good side guys look. get them into your Copy. crosshairs, but don't shoot yet. Let them come. Target acquired. Standing by. Yeah, let them come. Let them come. Be ready when they are far, far away. I, th I feel these guys down there might see them. Then come around the corner. Three, two, one now in the shadow. Shoot them now. Shoot them, shoot them. Good. Yeah, they can't be see they can't see them. And now they are even uh, be in the grass. That's good. Okay, good. Alright. There's some ammo here if you guys need something. And there was some more evidence, right? Where is it? Like there. Aha. Bolivia Buchon block. In this blog post, Ramon Feliz warns civilians about Santa Blanca Esperanza. Santa Blanca Esperanza is an NGO, a front organization created by the cartel to win the hearts and minds of the people. Santa Blanca Esperanza distinguished itself by providing relief and homes to the locals after La Cruz was ravaged by the great fires last year. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he says basically, Las Ayudas de la Fundación Esperanza Santa Blanca son financiadas por la Organización Criminal Santa Blanca. So the, the help, or the financial help that the Foundation Esperanza Santa Blanca provided uh, are being financed by the criminal organization Santa Blanca, by the cartel, yeah. All right, good. All right, but we are doing pretty well now. So we've secured the chopper. Guys, get in better positions. Now here on the right side, there, uh, make sure, hey, and Weaver, stay out of sight there. So is anybody in here? No, okay. We came at a good time, actually. We came at a pretty good time. There's one guy here. They have an Amaria here. Yeah, okay, so the next the next batch to be dispatched are these three here down the road in the little shack. Eyes on the, the work target. shack. I've got the target. Good, all three of them no. That was actually a good time. Yeah, right, okay, shoot them now, shoot them, shoot them. Enemy down. Good. Good, okay, let's advance a bit. But stay out of sight, guys. Stay clear of open spaces. Okay, good. We are clear. Everything is fine. Staying here. Drone is in there again, spread out guys. So there. Let's check this one. Yeah, now they now it's basically just the roadblock. Alright. And we do have one Got guy it. in the Ameria here on the side. And then that Let's guy. On the other side of the Ameria. Take them Target in. Acquired. Let the drone, let me just take a look inside. 
No, I think it's it's most likely clear. Oops. Nearly crashed the drone there. Drone. Coming from behind. That's good. So I'm checking out the tent. Oops. Tent is clear. Going into the tool. The tool shack. No, it's fine. Okay, now we are in the clear there. Good thing is I love our stealth drone. Can you guys take a shot on this guy? It's just one person, yeah? To a better position. In the little watch post. Shoot him through the window. Ready to fire. Okay, three, two, one, shoot them now. Got him, he's down. They are very good. Didn't even break the glass. All right, so time to move in. Or rather, we are sneaking in and we are taking the medal first. Yeah, I want to have the medal. That's our primary objective, actually. <clears throat> so, sneaking, sneaking. Everything should be fine. We don't even need to kill the guys in the pillboxes. But we could, of course, right? Uh, there is no medal here. There's a cartel medal over here. Uh, they have... break some poor thug's heart to lose this. Indeed it will. And it's ours now. Very nice indeed. Yeah, what what am what am I doing here? Very nice indeed. So we have the full physical capabilities now. Everything. Everything. So we are an excellently trained agent now. Or soldier. Now we are special forces, right? So well. So let's get the helicopter. Let's just clean up so the rebels can take over the place easily. Yeah, so rebels, the rebels can go and come in. So guys, contact the rebels. And then we are just we're just shutting down the generator, but only just by using the switch, just in case. And then the rebels can reactivate it easily after making sure that there's nothing bad happening, right? So, very good. Jumping down from the little building is very good for our knees and ankles. And let's get to the helicopter, because we can. And we want... To deny the cartel those resources as well, right? So there we go. Let's do this. It's part of our mission here. Very good. Guys, hop on. Oh, it's just here on the field. Excellent. Everybody on board? Good. Very good indeed. There we go. Just over there. There's a car coming though, but we are, yeah. They're, they're very good. No Sam's picking off on us. Excellent. Excellent. Rebels are already waiting. Touchdown. Oh yeah, you are, you are a bit excited down there, right? Stealing supply there we to go. Help cartel crushing rebels. I love my job. You guys enjoy the Tom Com tools? Okay then, so that was a very very successful mission i would argue and now we are actually going to not do la cruz further because we don't have any missions here that's the thing so however we have two more areas to explore and to destabilize the security branch of the cartel which is in uh, media luna and montuyork so we came 
We came to La Cruz for the detection special medal. And it's also nice that we already have all the information here now. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> write in the comments if you want, um, if you would argue that it is actually worthwhile to get this stuff here. Um, I'm not sure if I am going to be able to react to that, most likely not, because I'm pre-recording. However, as you guys know, the this video, like all others, has a walkthrough aspect. Yeah, So we now know where the stuff is. And, well, you can you know, make your case why you find the submachine gun P90, for example, so good or whatever. Or like this uh, large magazine for assault rifles with 7.62 ammo. Um, yeah, and why other players should probably get that stuff uh, quicker. But we are actually going to, and this here is the sparse shotgun. So I'm not using shotgun so much. Yeah, and this is like a weird... A weird Soviet sniper rifle. Like in my co-op games, I never used that. Yeah, it was just, just very weird. And then we've got another extended magazine for the 5.56. That would actually be a good thing to have. But here we already we have the best one, right? Or do we? Do we actually? Yeah, we do. Although no one knows. Oh yeah, it's actually 7.62. Okay. By 51. What was this? By 39. Ah, yeah. Okay. Those are smaller rounds, yeah. Okay, but anyway, so we are going to uh, Media Luna. Yeah. And I think we might even do this, the Operation Silent Spade after the Media Luna. Yeah. Oh, and there is actually a side mission here. So, we are, and we are, I'm going to quick travel, but I'll do that off camera. So, um, yeah, and then we are continuing the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Now we are all on par with the information. This was La Cruz. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. That was, I would argue, a rather smooth mission. Oh, look. And there is a subscription button. Oh, and look, the like button is so beautiful. Why not click it? See you next time. Bye-bye.